Hey guys, how are you doing out there? I'm back for a little video. Um, today I feel okay and I thought I would just uh, really take advantage of uh, that and just make a little video today. Uh, today I thought I would just talk a little bit about my cheek piercings. I have had these for a long time and I've gotten so many all kinds of questions, not only on my tattoos, but I also get questions on my cheek piercings. I guess people think they're peculiar, I don't know. Anyways, I thought I would just talk a little bit about that today with you guys. If there's anything that I'm not answering today, of course you are always, always welcome to comment or ask me questions in the comment section below and I will try to answer all of you guys. So the first question is, for how long have you had your cheek piercings? I think it's about 15 years. Yeah, I think it's like 15 years. I I think I did these when I was about like, I don't know, 16 or something. It's it's not a good story. I mean, it's, um, I really wanted my cheek pierced. I thought it looked so cool. I still do, by the way, I love them. But I was like 16, I didn't want to wait. Was I 16, was I that young? Jesus. Yeah, I probably was. Anyways. I wanted my cheeks pierced and I had a friend. Uh, she said that she had been working as um, a piercer, apprentice at a tattoo and piercing shop earlier. Uh, she was a bit older than me and she said that she could do this for free. And I'm like, yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm young and stupid and don't know better. So of course I'm like, yeah, cool. And so she pierced my cheek um, in her home, in her bathroom with, I don't know what kind of needle she even used. Um, and it was not good. I mean, like, don't ever do that. Don't ever, don't, don't ever try to pierce yourself at home or anyone else at home for that matter. Make a professional do it in a clean environment because that is not something you should do to yourself. And believe me, I know because I've tried to pierce myself. Like I tried to pierce my own belly button when I was like 15. I really wanted my belly button pierced and my parents said I couldn't do it. So I tried to do it myself and it was freaking horrible. I just used like a regular needle and got like halfway through and then I gave up because it was so like hard and I guess painful. I don't even remember, but it is a horrible, horrible idea. You can get all kinds of infections and there's a technique to it. <laughs> there's, these people know what they're doing. It may look easy, but just just don't. And of course, uh, my friend who pierced my cheek, she managed to actually pierce my cheek and she managed to actually put the jewelry in, but she did it crooked. So one of these is actually crooked. Like usually you can't really see it, but I can see it if I like, yeah. So she did one and it was totally crooked. And I had so much issues with it for so long after, like it would get infected and it was a nightmare. So believe me, just don't do that. <laughs> go to a studio, go to professionals and make sure they have professional equipment, clean environment and all that stuff. Cause yeah. Uh, anyways, so some months passed and it kind of healed and I kind of didn't like only have the one side pierced, so I wanted to get the other one. So I went to see a professional piercer at a studio. Uh, and she was really careful to line them up and stuff, because it's really easy to, like if they're not symmetrical on your face, it's gonna look really weird. Anyways, I was about 16, I think. 16, 17 maybe, and I still love them. Next question. <laughs> yeah, this is a good one. For some reason, I've had many people ask me this question and they wonder how this works. And they actually think that it's one continuous metal bar that goes all straight through my mouth, like from this side, through my mouth, and to this side, like a horse or something. And I'm like, no, that's, no, <laughs> that might, 
be logical to some people. Yeah, whatever. Uh, no, that's not how it works. It's two separate jewelries, two separate holes. On the outside is this little balls that you screw on and it's a metal bar. And on the inside, there's just a flat round plate. So it kind of just um, blends into your cheek on the inside. So I can't even feel them. I don't notice that they're there at all. So no, it's not one continuous big jewelry that goes through my mouth. That would have looked so creepy. <laughs> Does it hurt? Um, as every piercing, it will hurt when you do them. Like piercing the skin, it does hurt. I have had several piercings in my uh, face that I have taken out. I also have pierced my belly button. And of course I've pierced my ears. Um, and I'd say the cheek piercings are probably the most painful ones. And I think it's because the, the skin in your cheeks are it's kind of thick. It's a thicker layer of skin that you need to get through to pierce it. I don't know, I think that's why it kind of actually bled a little bit. It was definitely painful when you pierced it, uh, but as most piercings, it's mostly just painful when you pierce it and like when you put the jewelry in, but after that, it's kind of just sore until it heals. And now, no, I can't feel them at all. As I said, they're totally blending in with my skin on the inside of my mouth. I can't even feel them. Um, they don't hurt ever, no, so no. Are they high maintenance? Well, um, I've heard some people actually have taken these out because they thought that they were too high maintenance and they kept getting infected and stuff like that. Um, yes, as I told you, the one I had really a lot of problems with, um, it kept getting infected for actually several years it kept coming back the infection i think because it wasn't pierced properly that that was the one that my friend did and she did a little crooked and yeah i think that's probably why this is very individual though but no matter where your piercing is you should make sure you keep it clean and like clean it regularly and don't fiddle don't touch it my rule number one when it comes to piercings is like no matter where that piercing is, just don't touch it. Your fingers are full of bacteria and you should never fiddle with your piercings. And so I never do that. I try to be very conscious of never touching my piercings. Of course, I clean my hands first and I'm if I'm like changing the jewelry or whatever, but I, other than that, I never really touch them. The only thing I do other than that is I, of course, wash my mouth and wash my face. Um, and that is actually kind of the only thing that I do. I don't really individually clean the piercings because that's not really necessary for me. Um, I clean my face. I have like the special face so that's very mild because I have sensitive skin. So I, I wash my face uh, twice a day and that includes these of course because I like I wash my face, right? Of course I like wash my mouth and brush it with a toothbrush and all that. So that will clean the inside. But that's like stuff that I would do anyway. So uh, yeah, I can't really say that I'm doing anything really special to keep them clean. For me, it just works that way. And I haven't gotten any infections in any of these in many, many years now. Um, never any pain or problem or soreness or redness or anything like that. This is very individual, but in general, of course, um, be very clean and sanitary with your piercings and don't fiddle and touch them if you don't have to. Uh, next question is, do you have permanent dimples now? And uh, yes, I actually do. And uh, I think that is kind of cute. Well, I have never really like taken them out for a long period of time because at least it's like that for me that if I take a uh, piercing out uh, in, especially in my mouth area, it will close up very fast. like in less than a day, it will be closed up. So I haven't really ever taken these out unless I've changed them. And I don't do that very often. But I have noticed that if I take the jewelry out, that there's still a little dimple there. And of course it, that's natural because like the skin where it's pierced, it has like fused with the inside and made a little tunnel right there. So the skin is not as flexible and stretchy right where the piercing is. 
So naturally the skin will have changed a little bit right there. And so when I take them out, I probably will have a little dimple, yes, forever. <laughs> have you ever considered taking them out? Uh, no, I haven't. Um, even back, uh, back in the days where I have where I had uh, infections uh, and really struggled with making them heal right. I um, never wanted to take them out because I just love them. I love the look of them. I think it's so cool that I have dimples, but no, I love them. And now for the most popular question, the one that people always are asking me is that, can you squirt water out of them? Uh, and yes, I think actually I can. I have never really tried it because I think to really try it, I'd have to take them out. Uh, and as I said, I don't do that really uh, regularly. Um, so, but I, if I fill my mouth with water and really press, I think I can like get some water to dribble out here. Yeah, for sure. I mean, obviously, it's a hole through my cheek. And even though the, the jewelry is kind of keeping it plugged, it's like, it's still a hole there. <laughs> so yeah, but no, that's not, that's not an issue. It's not like when I eat or, or drink that food or stuff comes out of them or anything like that, no. So it's not, it's not a problem. And yeah, as I said, I, I can't even feel these. Like when I talk, when I eat, when I drink, I can't feel them. It's like they're not there, so I'm not bothered by them at all. But that also depends on your jewelry, because if you have a jewelry that's not the perfect size, like for instance, if you have a jewelry that's a little too long, it can be bothersome and you can actually kind of uh, bite into it or feel it in your teeth on the inside sometimes. Um, so make sure that you have a jewelry that is the right size and that it's not too short so it digs into your cheek because that's not good either. So it should just fit like perfect so that it blends into your cheek on the inside and it sits nicely and quite like tight but not too tight on the outside. So yeah, but no, I don't really squirt out of my cheeks as a party trick or something. No, I don't really do that. I think that was it. I think that's like the most common questions I get. If you have any more questions about my cheek piercings or anything, just comment below. I'll try to get back to all of you guys. Some of you might have seen also the video I made a little while ago. That was the, the box opening I did with the Dr. Pickles tattoo care stuff that I got in the mail from Dr. Pickles. Uh, from Australia. I didn't really get to review these last time. It wasn't really a review. It was just like a first impressions because obviously I just had unpacked them and reviewing them would kind of require me to test them over time, right? So, but I have tested this now for a little while, uh, the Dr. Pickles Tattoo Balm. And I have to say, I really like this. Even though I feel like this smell is a little bit weird, it's not bad though, it's just different. And I actually match today. Anyways, I've used this a lot lately on my uh, black sleeve uh, because it has been really dry. From time to time, I do get eczema and I have sensitive skin. So I'm very particular as to what kind of balms I use. And you also want something that makes your tattoo look good, right? As I mentioned in my unboxing first impressions video, I will link it down below or somewhere in here. I do like the consistency of it. It is really creamy and kind of waxy and it just really makes my skin feel smooth. Also, also my, my dog loves this. She will lick my arm all the time if she gets a chance. I don't know if that's a compliment or not. And of course you can get this online. I don't know what countries they actually retail in, but I would actually go as far as to say I recommend this. I'm gonna continue to use this. I'm not paid. This is not a paid promotion. I'm not getting anything to say this. This is just my honest opinion about this. So yeah, thanks again, Dr. Pickles. This is, this is some good stuff. Guys, I think I'm gonna go now. It is getting dark outside and my light in the studio is really horrible. Yeah, I really should do something about that. I am working on my studio space, um, but I think it's getting better. I'm gonna relax a little bit and have some dinner and uh, try to get this video out to you guys as soon as I possibly can. I really appreciate you guys watching. 
And I would really appreciate you guys giving me a thumbs up on this video and subscribing to my channel. You know, it really helps for the YouTube algorithm and it helps me getting more views. People out there might want to see this video. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. And I hope I will see you guys in my next one because you have subscribed, have you not? Yeah, just kidding. Bye guys.